Hello, my name's David, and in this video, we're going to take a look at transforming this image into a triptych. Now, of course, a triptych is an image divided into three equal panels. So how are we going to divide it up? Well, the first thing we need to do is head up to View, coming down to Show Ruler. Command R, Control R is the shortcut. Next, back up to View. This time, we're going to come down to Show Grid. Now, when the grid opens, it may look slightly different, but we can change the way this looks. Head back up to View. Now, come down to Grid and Access Manager. Now, with this, the mode, I'm on Automatic, Grid Line. Take this slider all the way to the right-hand side, and this will divide it up into blocks. We've got five across, we've got five down. This is really going to help us. Now, if yours still looks different to this, I'll come back to it in just a moment. You can also change the color. Click in the window here. I've got the color wheel, but you can select other methods. You might just want to change the color to make it stand out from the background. But I'm going to click on Close. Now, I mentioned about the grid looking slightly different. Head over to the toolbox. First of all, pick up the Move tool. Top corner, you can see I've got PX, which is pixels. If you've got inches, millimeters, centimeters, or any of the others here, the old grid pattern will look different. So just make sure you're using pixels in the top left-hand corner. Okay, so how many blocks have we got? Well, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, 10, 11, 12. And we've got one, two, three, four, and a little bit here on the side. Now, dividing this up would be four. To make life easier for yourself as well, just have a look around, see if it's easier to crop. Now, if I can one, two, three for our three panels. So if I take one and a half off, yeah, that should look pretty good. So I'm going to pick up the crop tool. I'm going to drag it in. So I'm just going to come into our one, two, three across, which is this one here, just making sure I get it on that line. This person is in on the frame. Double click in as well. That'll be easier. Right, next, pick up the Move tool, press V on the keyboard. Make sure, under View, that Show Guides is switched on. Head over to the Side Ruler, click down, drag it out. Got one, two, three, four, and one line in, which is going to take us to this point here. Right, for the next stage, make sure your little magnet, the snapping, is switched on. To the Toolbox, pick up the Marquee tool making sure you've got the rectangular marquee. I'm going to click down because we've got snapping. As soon as I come over to our guide, snap over it goes. We can now drag it down, just coming down to this area here. That'll do nicely. There is our first grid. Make sure your background layer is live. Now I'm going to use Command J or Control J. We have now duplicated one panel. Right, next. We need to count out how many grid spaces we've got. No, we don't. There's a bit of a nifty workaround. Put in a new pixel layer by clicking on this icon here. In goes our pixel layer. Pick up the Move tool by pressing V on the keyboard. We've now got the Move tool around our selection. Don't forget this is now on our pixel layer. Press and hold down Shift on the keyboard. You're holding down shift, you get these red lines. That makes sure you hold it on the horizontal. In other words, it's not going to go all over the place. Taking it until we come to this line. Don't forget, snapping is turned on. So it's snapped directly onto this guide. To the ruler, we're going to pick up another guide. We're going to pull it out. I'm going to place it on this line here. That will do nicely. Click on the background layer. Using Command J, Control J, we'll duplicate our second panel. Let's head up to view. I'm just going to turn off the grids. We don't need those anymore. Just be a little bit clearer as well. Right, back up to our pixel layer. Press and hold down shift on the keyboard for our third panel, moving it across. There's the red lines indicating that we have got the hold for the horizontal. You can tell the concentration <laughs> green line there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's head back down. There it is to our background layer. Command J, Control J. There is our third panel of our triptych. Next, I'm going to press H on the keyboard to give me the hand tool. And I'm going to use Command D or Control D. That's Select, Deselect. Heading up to View. Let's come down to Show Guides there. Let's switch that off to remove the guides. Command R, Control R. Don't forget, was a shortcut for the ruler. 
switch off your background layer we have done a pretty neat job there's no little don't forget if you've got little tiny margins there don't worry about it but no it looks really good everything is intact okay click on the background layer now we need to give ourselves a little bit of space to do that let's head up to document we're going to come down to resize canvas when we click on this make sure you click in the center so there it is that little anchor point is now in the center I'm going to change it from pixels we're going to go down to inches if you want to use in millimeters centimeters you can change it here as well now I want to give it roughly two inches uh, all the way around so let's click on the eight so I'm going to put in ten let's come to five I'm going to unlock the padlock while I'm here and we're going to just highlight the try and highlight the five that's better I'm putting in seven and let's click on resize there it is job done okay let's head up to edit we're going to come down to fill with primary color which of course is white as a foreground if you've got uh, anything but the default colors don't forget you can change it over here so i've now got white as a foreground color fill with primary and there it is there is our white background we can see our triptych panels let's click on the top layer this one Pressing V on the keyboard is going to put the move tool around it. Let's zoom in a little bit. I'm going to press spacebar. Now command or control into this area here. We need to move this out. Just going to move that across as well so we can see what's happening. Press and hold down shift. Now to the arrow keys on your keyboard and holding down shift, pressing the arrow key is going to move it out 10 pixels at a time. So we're going to go at 10, 20, 30. 40, 50, 60, 70. Let's go for 80 pixels. Right, just moving my way across. Come into the bottom layer. That's this panel. Repeating the process, holding down shift. This time it's the right arrow key. So it's the right arrow key. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There is our triptych. Command zero, control zero. Looking pretty good so far. Okay, for the next stage, let's give this a little bit more definition. Now, to give it definition, we're going to head down to FX. With the FX panel, first of all, let's have a look at Outer Shadow. Clicking on it, making sure it is live. Take the radius up. If you take the radius up, you can start to see there's the drop shadow coming around it. I'm going to take it all the way into this area. I'm just going to come to the angle. I'm going to move the angle around what I'm doing with this is I'm looking at it taking it to 270 just dropping it down on the top a little bit more on the bottom coming to offset let's just move this out as well and as you can see there it is there there's that over the bottom great stuff that will do nicely next we're going to come down to outline switching this on by putting a tick in the box color not sure I'm going to use black. Let's change this to white. So it's coming right into the corner there. Outside, no. Let's take it inside. And with the radius, as we start to move this across, you can see a faint line coming. Just moving it over a little bit more. You can see it down at the bottom. You know, clearly there where we've got the drop shadow. Perhaps just a touch or two more with that. There, 11.7. We're going to click on OK. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to repeat the process with these three panels. But there's a really nifty shortcut. Over where it says effects, anywhere around here, if you right click, you can go down to copy. Sorry, it's off the recording area. You can use command C, control C to copy this. Next, click on the middle layer. Let's head up to edit. We're going to come down to paste FX. So paste FX, in that goes. Clicking on the top layer, heading back up edit we're going to come down to paste fx again and there it is how quick and easy was that there are our three panels you may even want to leave it like this or just add a bit of noise to the background let's try something else i'm going to come to stock i'm using unsplash you could also use pexels uh, pixbay i'm going to type in brick wall and just press enter or return and that one there that looks pretty good let's click let's lift this out i've got a clue the trouble is i've got a clue how big it is just releasing it and 
Just waiting for a few seconds. There's the pixel dimension of the wall. And here is our pixel dimension. That's a little bit on the big side. I'm gonna press delete just to remove that. Let's have a look at something else. This one here, that looks better. Red brick wall. Thought the other one looked a bit more like a red brick wall. So just give it a try. See how the size in, ah, look. Now we've got the hand tool. There's our pixel dimension. Here's our pixel dimension here. That'll do nicely. Don't forget to stop by and say thank you to him. Pressing V on the keyboard is now going to give us the move tool. Let's drop this down here. I'm just going to come to the side. Let's move it in a touch. Coming to the top, moving that in a touch there. We'll do nicely. Clicking, dragging, placing it on the bottom. Clicking on our background layer. Just going to delete that. Clicking on our pixel layer. Let's delete that. There are our three panels forming our triptych. Going to press shift we're on the top layer pressing shift clicking on the bottom layer all three are highlighted still got the move tool we can lift it up into this position here that will do nicely so there it is there is our finished image go on give it a try i hope you've enjoyed the video give it the thumbs up if you have and don't forget to subscribe plenty more videos to come and if you click that little bell icon you'll get a notification every time a new video is posted but until the next time it is happy imaging and take care